Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. In today's video, we have the list of bodybuilders who took it too far, including one whose heart grew three times the size of a normal heart, one who used veterinary needles to eject steroids, and many more. But let's start with Gordon Kimbrough. Steroids, human growth hormones, and drugs messed up the life of Gordon Kimbrough. It was said that he was a shy, quiet gentleman who would no more raise a hand toward a fly than lay a finger on another human being. This bodybuilder and his partner Christy Ramsey were both famous in the San Francisco bodybuilding community. They both won awards individually and won the USA Pairs title as a couple in 1991. Their personal relationship, however, was extremely toxic due to their anger issues with Gordon. After getting to know about the affair of Christie, on June 20th, 1993, he reportedly hit her on the chin, wrapped an electrical cord around her neck three times, knotted it, and stabbed her in the throat twice with a kitchen knife. When police arrived, he was found holding a syringe to his neck, as if considering suicide. He also testified in his own defense, swearing that the murder had been committed in a fit of passion. He was hoping to get a lesser sentence, but was ultimately convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to 27 years to life. Greg Kovacs Bodybuilders are not meant to be super lean and jacked when they reach 350 pounds, but there appears that there was indeed a bodybuilder who blasted past that benchmark, weighing in at 420 pounds in the off-season. Gregory Mark Kovacs was a Canadian IFBB professional bodybuilder. In June 1997, he appeared on the cover of Flex magazine. His highest professional bodybuilding place was 13th at the 2004 Arnold Classic. His chest measured at 70 inches, and his arms were at 25 inches. He was also super ripped due to excessive steroid and hormone use. Bodybuilders next to him used to look like hunky teenagers. But in the end, his body couldn't bear all of the excessive drug and steroid abuse. There was immense pressure on his heart, and he died of heart failure. Mustafa Ismail This Egyptian bodybuilder was a fan of Greg Valentino and followed his footsteps by focusing more on his biceps. This Egyptian Popeye had the world's biggest arms. What, you guys don't believe me? Well, believe the Guinness World Records. Yep, he had his name there. His bicep measured to be almost 31 inches, making it the biggest bicep of any bodybuilder at the time. What's more interesting is that Ismail claimed he can't get a decent t-shirt anymore. Wow, I want those kind of problems. Well, like all the others, this came with a cost too. Some jealous professionals started claiming that he used artificial means to bulk up his arms. And when the investigation was set, it was revealed that the claim was true. After this, the Guinness World Record Committee removed his record. Apart from steroid use, he used to apply synthetic oil to bulk up the arms. Yeah, that synthol that Greg Valentino used too. Dave Palumbo David Christopher Palumbo is a retired American bodybuilder. He is known for his low-carb approach to preparing his athletes for competition. Palumbo rose to fame very quickly. During all of his competitions, his weight ranged from 200 to 280 pounds. But as we know, most of the bodybuilders use illegal methods to buff up their bodies. Palumbo also used human growth hormone, aka HGH. This controversial discovery resulted in him being in prison for a few months too. Apart from this humiliation in the bodybuilding community, Palumbo also suffered from major health damage. Due to the excessive use of the growth hormone and insulin, his stomach became enlarged. The doctors were baffled by its size, and after that, a new term was coined in the scientific community named Palumboism, referring to an enlarged stomach. Thankfully, he realized the health repercussions and adopted a healthier lifestyle. Now, Palumbo is a proud owner of Species Nutrition. Danielle Sicaresi This Italian bodybuilder was one of the most famous of his time. In 2010, the man was named as the heaviest competitive bodybuilder by the Guinness World Records with a competition weight of 298 pounds. On top of that, he was also awarded due to the largest arms in the world that were nearly 21.65 inches. They say that to reach this, he worked tirelessly, 
and that is where his downfall started. Danielle had an extremely tough exercise routine, and apart from the routine, the steroids and drugs also filled him up. He even had many allegations against him for promoting and marketing some of the illegal steroids to his fellows, after which he was found guilty of those charges and served some time in prison. But his health began to deteriorate rapidly, after which he was allowed to complete his sentence at home. Unluckily, Danielle didn't get the chance to start over and died while serving. Rumor has it that Danielle suffered from a heart condition resulting in a heart attack. He apparently collapsed and hit his head. Greg Plitt In the business of fitness, many people get deluded between fakeness and reality. This was the case with Greg Plitt. He was an American fitness model, actor, and former Army Ranger. He also starred in the Bravo television series Workout. The man was a fitness freak. His friends used to describe him as a bold and fearless person who jumped out of planes more than a thousand times in his life and had a taste for the extreme. During a shoot of a short film, Greg surprised everyone when he attempted to pull a stunt in front of the audience. He ran on the track with a running train following him in hopes of outrunning it. The conductor described that he saw somebody on the tracks from a distance away. He tried to pull the brakes and blew the horn, but for one reason or another, unfortunately, Greg did not get off the tracks. He was struck and killed by that train, and he was pronounced dead at the scene. Trevor Smith like all the other massive bodybuilders, Trevor Smith, too, chose the easy path to get big. Though he wasn't interested in any championships, he was famous in the bodybuilding community and used to write articles and blogs about bodybuilding. Yeah, kind of a guru, I guess. Trevor Smith became inspired to start bodybuilding when he saw the movie Pumping Iron. He developed this super high-intensity Beyond Failure training system, which he credited for his huge size and founded Nuclear Nutrition in 1999 with the purpose of filling the true needs of bodybuilders and athletes. He was known to be too big, as he stands at 6 feet 1 inch and weighed almost more than 400 pounds. But his body didn't get big naturally, as he was using steroids and also exercising excessively to increase his size. But all of this backfired, as it was putting immense pressure on his heart. Unfortunately, he died at the age of just 33 by a brain aneurysm. But some sources say that it was a heart attack. Mike Matarazzo Michael Richard Matarazzo was an American IFBB professional bodybuilder. Mike Matarazzo was a hardworking bodybuilder, remembered for his impressive arms and calves. He was very passionate about his profession, and in this, he didn't care what he was doing with his health. Like the conscious people, Mike too was very afraid of sugar and didn't eat any vegetables or fruit. Well, what did he eat then? Well, five to seven pounds of red meat, and that too every day. That's not all. He was also on severe steroid abuse, and also the growth hormone, and also diuretics. As we all know how individually these things are harmful, combined, they were abominable. Because of his extreme patterns, Mike suffered from heart disease and had to undergo an open heart surgery to fix all of his clogged arteries. Even after this, he suffered from a second heart attack. He died on August 16th while awaiting a heart transplant. This should be a lesson to all those who prioritize their career over their health. Dean Warmby The story of Dean Warmby should be a lesson to everyone involved in the steroid business. This bodybuilder was very famous for his impressive physique that had nearly 240 pounds of muscle. But unfortunately, he was diagnosed with liver cancer in 2010. This took a huge toll on his health, and by the time he died in 2015, he was completely bedridden. People don't even recognize him when they see the two photos side by side. His wife, Charlotte Rigby, later revealed that he always suspected that he used steroids to get this big, but claimed that he didn't take any after their marriage. This was later confirmed by doctors, too. After the diagnosis, Dean stopped the steroid abuse and resorted to healthy remedies to improve his health. Unfortunately, it was a little late, because the liver already got pretty messed up. It was revealed that before his death, Dean used to take nearly 200 natural remedy capsules every day. Chad Brothers Many bodybuilders are known to exercise under the influence of drugs. 
Well, these two things don't go well together. During a workout, Mr. Brothers fell off a machine at Gold's Gym in New York. This prompted an extreme anger response as he started destroying gym and office equipment and attacking other customers. When the police arrived at the scene, Brothers assaulted them as well. It was very difficult for the officers to tase him. And when one officer started to cuff him, he grabbed a taser and started attacking him. Many other police officers had to join in, and in all this fighting, he was tased twice more. He was finally restrained with the help of six other people, but it wasn't until he was being cuffed again that officers realized he had stopped breathing. Despite receiving CPR, he was later pronounced dead. After the autopsy result came, it was announced that he was under the influence of both steroids and PCP in his system on the day of his fatal one-man gym riot. Greg Valentino The main thing that made Greg Valentino famous was his extra huge bicep. He wasn't interested in bulking his whole body like other professionals, but for this, he chose a dark path. Now, he didn't pursue voodoo magic. Rather, he took the hormone testosterone and steroids to bulk it up. They grew up to be 27 inches in total. This further escalated his passion, as now he was ready to go to any length to make the biggest bicep ever. He got so crazy about steroids that many times he used to forget about changing or using sterilized needles. This carelessness and a hit by a baseball bat were the last straw as an abscess grew in his arm. Even this didn't make him serious as he began to treat himself at home, ignoring that the wound needed medical attention. Obviously, it didn't heal, and the pain became unbearable for him. He then went to the hospital, where the doctors had to cut open his arm to remove that abscess. Romario Dos Santos Alves Even though Romario is known to be a bodybuilder, he really wasn't one. Yeah, he had those big muscles and ripped body, but guys, he wasn't a bodybuilder. Well, that's because he didn't train in the gym for hours or take protein shakes to attain his body. Romario used synthol, a substance that is used as a temporary implant that is injected deep into the muscle. It doesn't offer any amount of strength gain, but simply causes the muscles to balloon up. He became obsessed with it, and when regular needles couldn't penetrate his hard, rocky arms, he started using veterinarian injections. Yeah, those big ones, the ones that they used to inject cows with. This all didn't stop there, as the synthetic filler synthol cost him his sanity, and nearly his life too, as he tried to kill himself when his wife was six months pregnant. His arms got very sore, and the pain became unbearable for him. The doctor suggested that they need to amputate both his arms, but luckily, later, they only removed the hard mass. Andreas Munzer This Austrian professional bodybuilder was famous for his extremely low body fat. And to achieve this, Andreas took it too far. And in addition to using steroids, he started using diuretics. Well, anybody who knows a little about them knows that they completely squeeze out the body water, resulting in dehydration. They also shrink the skin and tissues, giving them a more ripped look by displaying the full anatomy of the body. Andreas was a fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger and attempted to imitate him. He was also featured in Flex twice and Muscle Magazine International once. But it wasn't all merry. After months of stomach pain, Munzer was admitted to a hospital on the morning of March 12, 1996. Doctors decided to operate to stop bleeding from his stomach, but his liver and kidneys failed shortly after. His condition by this point was too severe for a blood transfusion, and he died on the morning of March 14th. The autopsy gave the cause of death as dystrophic multiple organ failure. Sally McNeil Now, this is a tragic case of steroid abuse and how it completely destroys your life. Sally McNeil is a former professional American bodybuilder. Though she wasn't that famous in the world of bodybuilding, she did win a couple of physique awards while serving in the Marine Corps. Like the others, she also had a steroid addiction that amplified her aggression. Well, that's an understatement, because during a fit of rage, she killed her husband. Yeah, that too on Valentine's Day. Talk about a surprise. Sally McNeil was convicted of second-degree murder and sent to prison. Also, I'd like to add to the fact that she was given the nickname of Killer McNeil. Her lawyer pleaded the case by presenting her as a survivor of domestic abuse, 
but the defense provided irrefutable proof in front of the jury about her aggressive behavior and how she was violent with her former partners too. The blood test showed an increased level of steroids in her blood, and eventually, she was sentenced to 19 years of imprisonment. Denise Rutkowski Denise Lynn Rutkowski is a former American professional female bodybuilder. As we discussed, the world of bodybuilding can have not only serious dangers to the health of men, but women too. Although Denise didn't have a long career run, she was unmatched in the world of bodybuilding. People loved her appearance, which was a mixture between a Barbie and a He-Man. Her career started around the 1980s and finished in the early 1990s. She was known as the Golden Panther. She took a huge amount of steroids abuse, and it seemed to have turned to drug abuse and reported bipolar disorder. Not only this, Denise also suffered from extreme hair growth after using so many hormones as part of her diet for many years. This is how she looks now. Look at the beardy chin. Her addiction did her bad. The people who once were fans of the Golden Panther don't even recognize her face now. Ruben Arzu. This bodybuilder had quite a scandal when one night after returning from a party, he sat on a porch of a couple, and that too, naked. The couple got scared and called the cops. A crew of four men had difficulty restraining the weightlifter using stun guns. So instead, they used four sets of handcuffs. He wasn't only under the influence of alcohol, but steroids too. The mixture of both turned him into a rage monster. The man reported that Arzu responded to their plea to leave their porch by attacking and savagely beating him and causing major head trauma. He didn't even pardon the woman and attacked her too. She sustained minor facial injuries and multiple wounds to her head. The man was at last arrested and charged with attempted homicide. Anthony D'Arezzo Anthony is a perfect example that knowledge doesn't always suffice. Even though he had a degree in health sciences, Anthony didn't pay attention to his deteriorating health. His heart was always weak, and he knew that. But you know what they say, that when you have money and fame coming in from all corners, you stop caring about everything else. He used to overdose on steroids and other drugs to appear more and more ripped. One day, just a few hours before his competition, he was talking to his friends. In the middle of a discussion, he laid down on his bed and never woke up again. His heart eventually gave up. After the autopsy, the doctors revealed that his heart was three times the size of a normal person's heart. This concluded that he was suffering from a severe case of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. Today's subscriber pick is a picture of a bodybuilder laying on a stretcher. Even the doctors gave up on this bodybuilder who took it too far. Well, this might just be an art illustration to showcase the harmful effect of steroids or excessive bodybuilding. What do you guys think? Tell us by commenting below. Nicole Bass. It's difficult to find a name for yourself in a man's world. And if you're a woman who wants to try your hand at wrestling, Nicole Bass is the woman to look up to. You may remember her as a female wrestler from her stint in the WWE and ECW. But she was a bodybuilder before she went into wrestling, which her big frame clearly gave away. She won the top prize at two NPC tournaments in the 1980s and 1990s. She was incredibly gigantic, even larger than some of her male contemporaries, standing six feet two inches tall and weighing 240 pounds. But she had to compete with her male rivals. She relied on steroids, which made her look very masculine. It was hard to tell if she was a woman or a man dressed as a woman. Bass had a huge stroke earlier in the week leading up to her death as a result of her steroid use, from which she regrettably never fully recovered. She had also suffered from health issues for a long time prior to her death in 2017. Candace Armstrong Candace is another case of steroid abuse gone wrong. It all started with her ambition to grow in size. She had transformed into a hulky, masculine bodybuilder as a result of her constant use of anabolic steroids. Her breasts and back are covered in hair. It's what I'd call the textbook case of going too far. Candace is a fitness nut who will go to any length to achieve her ideal body form. She used to be a tiny blonde barmaid, but now she's a man. She also suffers from anger issues and has been warned by doctors that she's putting her heart at risk. 
yet she just won't stop using them. She was even hospitalized due to mixing a dangerous cocktail of steroids, sleeping tablets, and alcohol. She took use of the opportunity of transformation to perform at a drag show. Fortunately, the poor woman is now getting help for her extremely distorted body image as well as for her steroid addiction and is going to counseling once a week. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. See you next time.